everybody and welcome to the channel and if you're here for the very first time it's lovely to meet you. I'm Jane and my husband Mike is behind the camera. We're British and we have no debt, uh, we've paid off the mortgage and we live a thrifty life here in Brittany in northwest France. And every Wednesday we invite you in for a midweek money chat and this week we're going to be sharing with you our January budget reset. There are some changes to our budget, we've got some goals to achieve in our budget. And if you're wondering why we do this, it's because we like to just show an example of what a real budget looks like. Uh, we hope that you find it useful or interesting, and if you like the video today, make sure that you hit the like button. Let's get going. talking off by income. So we have what are called occupational pensions, which may not exist in some countries. So Mike worked in local government, he was a local government officer, and he has a local government pension. I'm an early retired teacher, so I have a teacher's pension. That is very different from Social Security in America or a state pension here in France or a state pension in the UK. So that is the money that we paid into each month into our pensions. And we took our pensions as reduced pensions at 55 years old. And those pensions are taxed in the UK. We then have a small income that we earn from YouTube. And from that income from YouTube, we hand over 22% of gross income as a social security payment that pays for welfare, it pays for benefits, it pays for healthcare, it pays for pensions. And for January, the amount of money that we earned, that we have for January, and that's the money that we earn in November and received in December and will live off in January is 2,721 euros net. And that is about the equivalent to two French minimum wages net. Now, whether you think 2,721 euros is a lot or a little is your opinion, but I'm gonna give you factual context. If we were earning at which we probably would be with the jobs that we do here in, we were French and we were French living here in France, our incomes would be average and our net incomes would be 5,174, that's net. Then if we were to take an artisan, if we would take a qualified person who was maybe a, uh, who did work, building, a builder, for example. If they were to work four days a week, net, their pay, if they were have net, would be about 1,560 per week. That's a good week. If they were to take eight weeks vacation, so that would be an artisan, a good wage, would be earning about 5,850. That would just be the one person so you can see when we turn around and say at the beginning of a video that we live off a super tight budget, that is within the context of what it costs you to live here in France. And I'll repeat what I said earlier. If you think 2,721 is a lot, or you think that is a little, that's opinion. But the factual context is, that's the equivalent of two minimum wages and that is, I promise you, super tight budget here in France. Now let's talk about the budget system that we use. We use something that is called a zero balance budget. So basically you know, or we know, or anyone who uses this system knows in advance where every euro, pound or dollar is going to go, you decide at the beginning of the month where your money is going to go. Now we've made some changes, we've got some goals to achieve and we've made some changes. 
We've changed our long-term savings from 10% to 20%. Um, we want to do some work on our house. In the future, it's going to take some savings. So we need to put that money aside. And um, we're going to change our car long-term savings from 140 a month to 200 a month. When we bought our car in 2022, it was six years old. So we bought a six year old car. So our car is now eight years old. It'll be nine years old almost when we sell it. Fortunately, cars here hold their value, but we still need to buy a new to us car. Otherwise, we will have to save up a bigger amount to replace that car and we always pay cash for cars. In our budget system, we have what we call sinking funds. Those are the amount of money that we save up each month to pay a yearly bill. We then have in our budget system discretionary spending. That's for the things that we want. If we want to go out for a coffee, if we want to buy something for the household, that could be a new kettle. If we want to buy plants, for example, putting tomato plants in the greenhouse each year. We also have a small amount of money each per month that we put into our own pockets as I pocket money as cash. But mostly what we do with our discretionary spending is we use it as a budget buffer. So, we can build up a bit more money in our regular current account, our regular checking account. So there's always a little bit of money spare each month. Let's start taking money away from that 2,721 euros and look at where it's going to go. We start off with where most people who budget start off with, savings. And our long-term savings of 20% is 545. We then have our long-term savings for the car, which is 200. And then we have, and I'm gonna go through this, and I'll show you this every time I show you my budget, our sinking funds. And what we do with them all is we have an amount per year, and then we divide that the total by 12. So this year we will need to buy clothes. We've got 600 for clothes. That's for two people, shoes, coats, clothes, underwear, and ladies, you and I know, we all know, don't we? It's 40, 40 euros for one bra. So it, it looks like 300 euros per person. Is that a lot? And again, whether you think that's a lot or you think that's a little is opinion. We have gifts of 720. Trip and holiday. It costs us 1600 euros for one trip per year to see family in the UK. And half of the, it goes on the ferry, Airbnb to rent somewhere off Airbnb and some spending money. Our water bill is 250 a year. The wood that we buy is 700 a year. Our house tax, or as it is called here in France, tax foncier, is 800. Our refuse and recy recycling is 240. We save, whether we need it or not, 600 a year for the dogs at the vet. One of our dogs is 12 years old. She is increasingly needing veterinary care. The dog grooming, um, they go to be groomed every other month and each time it costs 100 euros or 50 euros per dog. And then we have plants for the garden. Car maintenance, we've reduced this this year. We have a very reliable car. We are gonna to need to put new tires on it, which is going to be quite expensive, but we've already got money saved from last year for those. We are a business, we have to pay a very small amount of business tax of 240. 
We have a annual fee that we pay to Epidemic Sound, which is for the music that you hear on our videos. And then because, as you can imagine, we make so many videos, we need to store all the pictures and all the videos that is all done online. And that is 72 a year. That total comes to 7,417 a year. We divide that by 12 and we save into our sinking fund 720 a year. Some people call them savings pots. I like the term sinking funds. A sinking fund is a fund that you fill up and then you empty it and you do that year after year. It's a rolling savings fund. So it, it fills up, it sinks down again. And those are the amounts that we have to save. So where are we so far? We've got 2,721 and then we've taken away the long-term savings, the savings for the car, the savings for the sinking funds. And now let's get to look at our living expenses. Let's start off with the supermarket. Now the supermarket is what I call everything that we need to eat or drink. That is all food, all drink, all toiletries, all cleaning products, everything that we buy in the supermarket. Then we have the car fuel of 80 a month. We've then got gas bottles. We have two portable gas heaters in our house and we use butane bottles in those to heat those rooms. If we were to replace both of them in one month, it would cost us 65. We are only paying that expense in the cold winter months. We then spend 70 a month on pet food, 25 a month on home insurance, 110 a month on health insurance, 55 a month on car insurance. Our bank charge for four bank accounts is 15 euros. Our TV and internet is 50 euros. For two mobile phones, our charges are 35 euros. Our EDF is 100 euros. Hair and beauty is 30 euros. I have, that's for haircuts. That's for if I have my eyebrows waxed. And Les Pousses is a local charity that we support and that's 20 a month. So you can see that our living expenses, our bills we have to pay each month, come to 1,005 per month. Now some details about things here, for example, our electricity bill doesn't actually cost us 100 a month. We actually spend about 65 a month, but we are on a new plan. So this will probably be reduced they kind of balance out our bills in April or May each year. So that will be reduced. Our TV and internet of 50, it's about 48. But what I do with all of these numbers is I round them up. So it's not exactly this amount. Like I said, I round everything up, but it's approximately, and I put aside 1,005 a month. So here's the final numbers. We've got 2,721 and we've, we've taken away the long-term savings. We've taken away the savings for the car. We've taken away the sinking funds. And then we've taken away the living expenses. And we have discretionary spending, that's the money left, of 351. Now it's January, so it's a no spend January for us. And what we will do with that 351 is we will leave it in our current account. We will leave it in our checking account. And that creates a budget buffer. We will probably have a no spend February as well. And hopefully it then builds up a little bit of extra money into our current account 
that we've just got there if we need it. We don't probably need it, but we might do. And it's always handy if to have no spend months to build up a bit more money. So that's our budget for January. So much for watching thanks to everyone who hits the like button thank you to everyone who leaves a comment and we read every single one of them and we'll see you soon bye for now